Hello, welcome to the Two Man Power Trip of Wrestling. I'm your host, JP John Posway. Today is a very, very special guest. You may know him from No Holds Barred or Wayne's World, but he's got a new project he's working on right now. He's a legendary actor, Mr. Kurt Fuller. Kurt, welcome to the Two Man Power Trip. How are you doing? Thank you very much. Legendary. That's that's come on. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Come on. <laughs> Russell and Wayne's World, Brell and, and No Holds Barred. Oh I mean, God, there's yeah. a million of them. I mean, come on, there's there are, great. yeah. So, what's going on in your world? What's up with the Master of Puppets? You got the, a new wrestling venture. Well, you know, it, 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 it's my career started pretty much. No Holds Barred was almost my very first job in show business, and this is probably close to my very last job in in show business because you know you, you want to retire sometime and. Uh, right. I won't do it. This will probably be the last play I ever do um, because, man, it's hard. I got to tell you. Uh, but it's really I had to do it because uh, it's it reminded me it was it rang so true. Um, it, it's a play that takes place behind the scenes of a WWE type company. Uh, and I am the head I, and I am. I'm certainly not trying to be a uh, uh, McMahon because who could, I mean, it, it's impossible. Um, so uh, I'm playing sort of, uh, you know, an amalgamation of powerful people, powerful people with, uh, with, uh, you know, with some darkness in, in their lives. And it's really a play about wrestling, love, sex, and power. Uh, and since wrestling is pretty much about love, sex, and power, uh, it it all it all rings, uh, you know, very true. And the uh, the writer uh, just did a um, really a great job. Uh, he he knows wrestling, and uh, it's it's so far. And we we uh, we premiere in a week. Premiere that's a TV or movie term. Uh, we open in a week. And uh, I think I, I think it's starting to look good, and um, so I'm I'm uh, I'm very hopeful. It's amazing though, like back in wrestling, kind of you know what I mean, like no holds barred uh, to now. What a full circle for you! It, isn't it interesting? It, it really is. Uh, and you know, when I when I started, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, and now I almost know too much because I can outthink myself and out. So, uh, uh, but the the uh you know we have wrestlers we have we have everything we have wrestling we have we we have sex we have intrigue uh we have a lot of comedy just like there is in wrestling um and it's more realistic than your normal wrestling uh which is you know i love i love wrestling uh you know i love that whole world and uh this this show really does it justice so you're kind of like not only into it, like as far as the, the acting world, you actually like the wrestling business side of things. Well, yeah, I didn't know anything about it when I did No Holds Barred, but I got, got to know Vince and I got to know Hulk Hogan. And then it was in the 80s, this whole cast of characters, most of whom I've forgotten, but were at the time, they were big wrestling stars uh, that, you know, maybe the older, your older listeners will know, but yep. the younger ones will have to have to look up and they were just they were wild i gotta tell you they were the most interesting group of people i had ever encountered uh they were all like they were all very serious businessmen uh number one and they experienced real pain i mean real pain and and hulk used to say to me that you know people who say wrestling, wrestling is fake come and look at all my scars and all my scar tissue. I mean, these guys were all beat up. And they loved to put on a show. They were all show men and women. More men than men. But uh, now, you know, there's, a, there's you know, women are a big part of wrestling too. Uh, and I just found them interesting. So, uh, you know, mostly I don't really go to, I don't go to wrestling events that much because I swear to God, <clears throat> A person who was in one of the leads in No Holds Barred going to a wrestling event is not going to be able to watch the show. That it, yes. it's just amazing how many uh, how many people have seen that movie 
who like wrestling, yeah. but I, I do watch it. Uh, you know, I watch, uh, you know, I watch SummerSlam and I, I, you know, I just, I like to just see what they're doing and, uh, you know, how it's evolved and how it's grown. And uh, it has, it's gotten, it's gotten better, I think. You know, you, Braille, you know, Mr. Braille, he can't go to a show and not get mobbed and, you know, no. booed out of the building. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, when the movie came out, they did a big wrestling tournament somewhere and they had me come and be Braille and my sunglasses. And, you know, they had me, you know, yelling at people and doing stuff. And it was really a lot of fun. It gave me a sense of what it was like to do. I mean, they just tell you to do it and you go do it. It's it's really you know, it's fast and dirty the way they do it. And, uh, of course the matches are, you know, those are, they work on those a lot. When you look at it, when you are saying that about Hulk, man, he's had so many back surgeries and other things. I I mean, he's almost oh. 70, but he, he, it's hard for him to walk. So, I mean, yeah. people say, Oh, it's fake. It, not, not taking those bumps. Not, the, they're not. The pain is real. And I mean, these guys walk around like old football players who, you know, they just are pretty beat up. It's it's tough, and I I mean I'm I feel bad for the for the pain th that they're in, uh, you know. But I, I mean the hits are real. The, when when you're going off the top of the ropes or the turnbuckle or whatever, it's a long way down, and there's a lot that can happen. And you're hitting somebody. There's a lot that goes wrong, and uh, they really suffer. I have to say they earn their money. I'll tell you that. When you look back at working with Hulk, to me, you know, at one point there's 33 million people watching him versus Andre the Giant. I mean, he's more than mainstream. I mean, he he kind of like he broke through. He was a part of the fabric, he's part of the culture. What do you think about working with the Hulkster? You know, it was uh, I liked him a lot. He was really a very down to earth guy. You could just sit and talk to him, you know, face to face, and uh, you know, he'd be he'd be very honest about things, and uh, you know, he's very real and when he performed the wrestling uh you know he was great he really he really knows he knows he knows where to be how to be what to do i mean he's a he's a, a true professional and he has a lot of charisma and um it, it was like the first time he'd ever acted and uh he did especially for the first time a very good job but what he had that nobody most people like people like me never have is the kind of charisma that just you know, you can't take your eyes off him when he's there because who knows why? Because he's got charisma. If I knew what charisma was, I'd, I'd be very much richer than I am. <laughs> like when people say charisma and, and like the it factor, like you're right, you can't put a feeling on it. But no. when Hulk walks like in an airport or he walks, you know, in Orlando and he's on his beach up or whatever, yep. you're like, that's ah, Hulk Hogan. Like, yeah, that's right. yeah, there's something. Why? I don't know. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of big there's a lot of big blonde people around, you know, but not everyone, uh, very few of them get the kind, you know, you just, it, you're just drawn to him. You're drawn to him. Like, you know, it, it's a very, it's a very rare thing that he has. What did you think about him in the movie? Did you think he did well? Did you like him in the movie? What did you think overall? I thought, um, I liked him. I thought, I thought he, uh, I thought he sold the character, uh, very well. I think even, in later movies, his acting got better. Um, but believe me, I've worked with a lot of first time actors and he was among the best first time actors I'd, I'd worked with. And uh, he, he was just, you know, and he was a good guy. When you are like the, the villain and then he's the good guy, are you guys working <laughs> a lot together, like like off camera and stuff? Or no, they because like you being kept, kind of kept separate? Uh, well, when, when the camera's not rolling, there's a lot of sitting around. <laughs> and so we, uh, you know, when you're setting up lights, moving the camera, the things they do is just, you, you, I mean, really, it's, it can be a few hours. And uh, we, we, you know, talk a lot. And uh, he had a young family then. I mean, his kids were tiny and they were running around. And, uh, you know, I think life was very good for him then, you know, and... I, I thought he was, I thought he was a, you know, pretty happy guy and, uh, you know, had a good hold on things. He, uh, you know, he was really, you know, trying to maximize his potential and uh, he knew what worked and, and he was, uh, he was very good with it. So, yeah, we did spend a lot of time together, but it wasn't like wrestler villain or it was just, you know, two people talking. Uh, when the cameras rolled, <clears throat> it, it, it changed a lot. 
he's probably picking your brain about acting. You're probably picking his brain yep. about wrestling. Absolutely. And, you know, there was a, there, we, we didn't talk enough. There was a move. Uh, I've said it, I've said it before. He, there's some bit where he shoves a check down my throat and, you know, you don't in film, you don't, you don't really shove the check down the throat. It's fake. He coming from the world of wrestling shoved this check down my throat and I, I swallowed <laughs> about half of it. And I mean, I, it took me about an hour to recover. I was coughing for about four. And I said, what are you, what, ah, ah, what are you doing? What are you doing? And he goes, well, I'm sorry. Uh, that's what we do. <laughs> it was like, well, remind me not to do that. Uh, <laughs> so I wish, I wish they, I wish we'd talked a little more that time, but yeah, right, uh, right. besides that, you know, and uh, you know, Tom tiny Lister was there and they would, they would work a lot on, on their stuff. And, you know, these wrestlers would come in and do a day or two and, uh, man, they were some, there were some big dudes. Uh, I don't remember. I, it was so long ago. I, I don't, but there was one French wrestler. I mean, he was, they couldn't, he couldn't have a regular trailer because he couldn't get through the door. So they actually had like a horse wagon <laughs> that he would go in and sit in and lie in because he couldn't fit through any door. That's how big this guy was. Was it, was, it Andre the Giant? Yeah. It was not Andre the Giant. Oh, it was, not it was Andre, Andre the Giant. I would have remembered. It was. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. It was. It was a different French guy. I, I Zeus, don't. I don't remember his name. Zeus ain't no small guy either. It wasn't no. Small guy. He was monster. No. I I spent a lot of time with him. He was funny. He was funny. Uh, I was very sad to hear when he passed away. Uh, he was a good guy. Way too young. Yeah. Way too. Way young. too young. Yeah. Way too young. So who is Brell based off? Uh, Brell, I think Brell at that time was based off of Ted Turner and Vince McMahon, I think. More Ted Turner. I was thinking more Ted Turner, but an evil Ted Turner. I don't think Ted Turner anything like Brell. Uh, but uh, that, that was sort of my, you know, the head of a, the, the ruthless head of a cable company would do anything uh, to get ahead, including kill. So, <laughs> you know, your typical network executive. Right, right, literally kill, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you think that No Holds Barred was going to be like a, a, you know, like a cult classic or a niche, or what did you kind of think of it when you got put on the project? Well, uh, I, I honestly didn't know what to think. I didn't know whether, you know, I didn't know how many wrestling fans there were. I really didn't. I didn't know much about the world of wrestling. Uh, and also, we opened the same time, the same weekend as Indiana Jones, I think Indiana Jones 2 or something. And I thought, oh, my God, no one is going to see it. No one. But uh, it turned out to, you know, it made money. And uh, it, it, la it I, I cannot believe, I don't look anything, you know, I'm 35 years older than that now. Or, but people still stop me for that movie, which is crazy, you know. Yeah, that is crazy. But if you look at it too, it's like, okay, did it make money? Yes, it did. Plus, they did the remember they did the match and the movie, so they did the yes. pay per view. Oh so, yeah. Oh, like, there, there's additional income too, right? In yes, revenue. there was additional income. Not that I saw any of it, but you know, I'm <laughs> right. glad. I'm glad that they made money. Right. <laughs> you know, and uh, all the wrestling fans bought the the VHS and then eventually DVD. That's right. That's right. And it went on Blu-ray. I mean, yeah. it just it came on Blu-ray a year ago or something. Yep. Uh, yeah, it, it, the, it, the movie refuses to go away. So, uh, you know, people, there's a, the people want it still, you know, it's actually, when you look at it now, you know, it's a real eighties movie, but it's incredibly fun to watch. I mean, it's really, you know, it's, it's sort of, it's, it's, it, it's very entertaining. There's a lot going on. I'll tell you. I love it. Well, you, yeah. Joan Severance. I mean, poof, oh, you know, back in the yeah. back in the day. I mean, whoo oh, you know, Growing man. up, looking at her, it was like, man, you know, instant crush. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it was all. It was all right there. It was. Uh, yeah. yeah. She was. Uh, she's delightful, and honestly, she still looks fantastic. Yeah, yeah she still you looks know? pretty. Yeah, definitely know, for sure. Really yeah, does. Yeah. The funny thing is, too, like, okay, like, that no holds barred, blah, blah, blah. Then they make the action figures. They made an action figure last year of Hogan and Zeus together. I think it's they did. Eighty or hundred dollars. Yeah, it came out last year. Oh my God, why don't they make a, a Brell action figure? They should Hogan well, versus Brell. Put them together because they make so many Hogans. So you do. Know, they're putting the different guys with Hogan, and they put Zeus. Wow, I, I'll bet that went well. I'll bet that. And, and he wrestled for a while. He went out on. Uh, he went out on the circuit for a while. 
Yeah, but he wrestled in Puerto Rico a little bit, WCW. Yeah, a little, yeah, yeah. yeah, he wrestled yeah. a little bit. Yep. But you know, it's interesting. Zeus, I think he was a physical specimen, mm -hmm. but honestly, in the ring, he didn't have near the speed or flexibility or uh, just the the chops of like a Hulk. I mean, if they really if they really wrestled, it would be no contest. I mean. He was a uh, Hulk. It, it really, I, I thought, oh, man, this guy's a real athlete because he was, uh, I mean, he could really, he was really good. And and seeing him with another really big guy, but he totally, you know, not with the camera, not with the camera and everything. He he really, in in life, outclassed him in the ring by a very wide margin, actually. I totally agree. Zeus was very much like a, almost like the bodybuilder that couldn't really move. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that, yeah. that type of guy. Yeah, he was muscle bound, kind of. Yeah. Yes. Perfect villain, though. Like the perfect look for a villain. Scary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was scary. He had, he had uh, all right. The, I got the five minute call. So uh, uh, he had one eye that went the other way. I mean, that was, uh, he was, and he played a lot of, a lot of, that movie helped him a lot. He got a lot of uh, bad guy roles from that film, and uh, he did a great job. Big time. Awesome about you, though. Not only, you know, No Holds Barred. I mentioned Wayne's World. You're Russell. I just watched it the other day. I can't stop mm -hmm. playing. I just love that. Like, you know, you're like the, the perfect guy. You could play any role. You know what I mean? I, 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 I have to say, I'm actually in a series now on uh, Paramount Plus called Evil, which is. Uh, oh, I got to check that out. Okay. Yeah, it's very good. It's really good. It's in its fourth season, actually. And, uh, you know, I just I don't know. I keep working. What can I say? uh it uh it's been a very uh very knock on wood lucky career so far what is evil about evil is um it's about a team of uh people who work for the catholic church trying to find out whether miracles and possessions are real or or imagined or have a scientific basis and it's really though like all these shows about them it's about their relationships and their lives and uh it's it's by uh the people who created the good wife and uh the good fight and you know they're very 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 good writers so uh it's 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 good and it's very scary very scary I'll and there's a lot of special effects it's it's worth seeing definitely oh if you're in it i'm gonna have to check it out i'm great, in it great character actor is that something that you you pride yourself on yeah uh, you know, I was never going to make it for my looks. So, uh, you know, I had to make it by uh, being able to do uh, a few things extremely well. I can't do everything, but there are a few things I do very well. And and I'm helped by the fact that I, you know, I played this character, Woody the Coroner on Psych for many years. Yes. Uh, that, uh, you know, I can be funny and I can be serious. And that doubles really your staying power and I, i've been very lucky that they've let me do that so yeah absolutely you played such a great role on obviously no holds barred we talked about with braille i love you as russell you're so funny in <laughs> in, in wayne's world i know you probably yeah. right you probably get talked you know they probably oh, mentioned sure. that just as much as they mentioned no holds barred oh yeah they do there were you know wayne's world uh that was <clears throat> that was a uh, one of those movies that defined a generation really so yeah, yeah i still get actually very good checks for wayne's world it's kind of amazing after all these years 30 years or something yeah, so man, yeah. another classic yeah, yeah not even cold classic real real classic yeah. great yeah yeah absolutely running man right you're in running man with Arnold. running man yeah i was in uh scary movie yes yes i was in, i mean i've i could i've been in i i looked the other day i've been in over 200 things i've wow. been on I've been on 10 television series that were actually on the air, you know? I mean, I, I really, I'm one of those guys, you, and people always say, like when I go into a restaurant, people go, oh, welcome back. And it's like, uh, well, I've never been here before, which I don't say, but I know why they're saying it because they think they know me. Because yes. if you move, if you flip through the channels, my face is gonna show up. That's just yes. the way it is, you know? Yep. And, uh, you know, thank you, <laughs> I'm glad. Now, before we let you go, tell us a little bit about uh, one last time about Master of Puppets, where everybody yeah. can see it, and just you know, just a basic you know, give us a big push for it. 
All right. Well, I'll, I'll give you a big push if you if you if you want to if you want to laugh if you want to uh, be uh, compelled by uh, you know if you like wrestling you'll love Master of Puppets if you like uh, drama you'll love it and if you like comedy you'll love it because it's got all all three elements and if you live uh, in Connecticut you're really going to love it because it's not going to be very far away it's at the Legacy Theater in uh, in Stony Creek for those of you who live in Connecticut it's near near Hartford uh, and near New Haven. And um, it starts the 26th of May and runs until June 11th, uh, Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And come and say hello. You know, if you have any, uh, any no holds barred stuff, I will sign it for free. Wow. If you want to give me a few bucks, if you want to give me a few bucks, I'm not going to say no, but (laughs) I will sign it for free. That is something Brell would say. Yeah, that is right. right. Well, uh, I can I can go back into Brell. There's no problem. Yeah. <laughs> now, as far as you, is there uh, social media anywhere where everybody can uh, find you? Oh well, I, tr- I try and stay away from social media, but I am on social media. Uh, I'm at the Kurt Fuller. I think that's both my Twitter handle and my Instagram handle. Uh, the Kurt Fuller. All right, Kurt, thank you so much for all the time. I really appreciate it. It's awesome to get you full circle from no hey. hard to Master of Puppets back in the business. I love it. Love to talk to a wrestling lover. Thank you very much.